Hi, this is Craig, software architect at SwitchHat.com, and continuing with our Flash Builder 4.6, 4.7, uh, how to stream video to your mobile application series, I want to uh, take a uh, few minutes of your time and um, explain the Amazon Web Services account that you're going to want to set up. Um, I did some research, found out that Amazon was probably the best uh, streaming video server for me to use and I'd like to uh, encourage you to do the same. I don't get paid for uh, recommending that you do this. I just think that it's a great value and uh, hopefully you'll see it as the same. So first thing that we're going to do is if you have an account with Amazon already, you can actually use that uh, account information to sign up for your Amazon Web Services account. Um, so all you'll do is you'll just go ahead and click sign up and you'll go through the process to set up your uh, AW, uh, AWS account and then you'll be good to go. Again, you can use your pre-existing Amazon account if you have one. If you don't, sign up for a new one. Once you've signed up, um, you're going to be directed to the Amazon Web Services sign-in page. and You're going to enter your email and then log yourself in. I'm going to do that now. And what this is going to do is it's going to bring you to the uh, dashboard or the uh, uh, management console for your web services. Now for the sake of this tutorial, um, I want to focus on the storage and content delivery area for now. Um, if you're looking at video and streaming video to the web or streaming video anywhere, you're going to hear some talk about uh, the S3 component in Amazon Web Services and CloudFront. And to make things really clear, <clears throat> since we're dealing with Flash Builder and since we're building a mobile application that's going to have a Flash player built into it, uh, a native flash player that is, and it's going to be delivered through air, um, then we're not going to need to use CloudFront. Okay, We're just going to be able to use the S3 component to stream those videos out. CloudFront is a component that we're going to have to use if we want to stream that video to say a web application or uh, a website because what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to bundle uh, that video that we uh, uh, it put in our S3 bucket, we're going to have to send that out in CloudFront with its own player. So CloudFront is how we're going to deliver that uh, video out to uh, the world. And since we're not going to be doing that web-based, we're going to create a uh, native uh, application uh, for Android, and it's going to feature the uh, native video player in Flash Builder, then all we're going to need is the S3 uh, storage cloud for now. So I'm going to click on this. And what it's going to do is it's going to bring us to uh, the management console for S3. Okay, as you can see here, I've created one bucket. The uh, bucket exists here. <clears throat> and when you go through and create your own bucket, you can give it a naming convention that just makes sense for you. Now, there are some rules um, that uh, Amazon has for naming these buckets because since this is in the cloud, once you start your naming convention, you cannot... Uh, have that naming convention match what say somebody else has had so you can't have your um, coca-cola video bucket okay somebody might have that maybe coca-cola has that I don't know but you gotta be careful with some of the copyrights there and infringement so you come up with your own own naming convention and then you're gonna wanna stick to that as much as you can uh, so you're gonna go through the little tutorial it's easy to set up a bucket and what I've done here is I've created a little bucket <clears throat> and you'll notice that there's a, a folder in here called CloudFront Logging. And this is part of setting up this bucket. So when I put videos into this particular bucket, then I'm going to want to log um, each time that that video is viewed. So that gives me a way to understand the charges that I'm getting um, uh, presented to me through Amazon Web Services. <clears throat> and I can tell you this, this is the good news. Um, I've had hundreds and hundreds of videos, and I'm talking about these uh, three videos. <clears throat> I've had hundreds of these served up in the last few days. And I just checked my Amazon Web Services account this morning, and I've been charged one penny, no kidding, one penny for serving up hundreds and hundreds of videos streaming through uh, some applications that I have out there. So it's extremely affordable to be able to do this, and uh, it's just it's just a fantastic service. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and, and uh, upload your video, whatever format you've made your video in. If your file name extension is you know, uh, MP4, MOV, or WMV, whatever it is, I've chosen the Flash video or the F4V 
uh, file extensions, but I've actually had uh, MPEG4 videos running and streaming to my mobile applications in Flash Builder. So it's not really that diff difficult to do. <clears throat> so you're going to go ahead and upload your video, and it's going to go through its process to uh, load into your, your bucket here. Now, let's say, for example, we just uploaded this error update to video. <clears throat> what I'm going to want to do is if I forgot in the uploading process initially to uh, make this video public, I'm going to just basically hover on this. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go ahead and make this video public. Now, since I've already done to, uh, excuse me, done this, it's uh, it's going to ask me if I want to do it. I'm not going to say okay. I'm going to go ahead and cancel. When you do it, you're just going to go ahead and uh, say yes. That's going to make this uh, able to be streamed out to the uh, mobile application that we're going to build. Okay. What I'm going to do is, since we're here, we're going to right-click this again. We're going to go to properties. Now we're going to get to this in new videos coming up, but just so that you kind of get an understanding about how this works. What we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to build a, um, and this is going to be my take on it, okay? So you may choose to do your application different. I'm going to show you how to build an XML file that's dynamic, okay? And then that XML file is going to be uh, the dynamic file system that is going to be able to uh, populate dynamically your mobile application with your videos. Okay, so the path to this video, and this is a streaming path now. As you can see, uh, we've got our S3 streaming path set up here for our video. I'm going to want to basically take this link here. Okay, I'm going to want to right click. Actually, you know what? You can right click at Control or hit Control uh, C, Command C on a Mac, Control C on a PC, and then I can put that into a file system, and then now I can call this video up. This is the destination that will be pulled into my video player in my Flash Builder. I'm going to get out of this here. Now, <clears throat> in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you exactly where that copied video file or pathway is going to go in our Flash Builder project. Okay. That way, when you go to call up that video, it's going to go ahead and stream from this uh, S3 bucket. Um, it's going to download, and it's also going to pull from uh, whatever environment is more conducive or less cost to you. So all around the country, Amazon has these uh, the, the server mechanisms, the cloud that's going to be able to optimize what you're going to get charged for pulling your video in. So uh, theoretically, a person in Lincoln, Nebraska, that pulls down a video, is going to be um, uh, served with the optimized uh, cloud server versus, say, somebody in California. That's 1,800 miles away. So it makes sense. It's a really great service. Uh, stay tuned for the next video where I'm going to show you exactly where to copy and paste that link in to be able to pull your videos into your Flash Builder project. Uh, hope this helped a little bit, kind of get you a little bit of a feel for where we're going to go in the next uh, few videos. Um, so if you have any questions, make sure to leave us a, uh, uh, some feedback at switchhat.com, and we're going to do our best to get those up on video for you and help make this process uh, exciting and fun and, and maybe even rewarding. Talk to you next time. This is Craig. See you. Bye-bye.